Good afternoon, class. This is Miss Funk. I hope you enjoyed your spring break, and now we're back to work. So, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the read and do assignment for social studies today. Let's take a look at this picture on the right side here. What do you notice? Take a moment to think about that. What do you notice about this picture? You may have noticed that there are Native Americans in this picture. There, it looks like there are some houses that they had built for themselves back here. This guy is holding a spear. Um, they're in a canoe, so they could possibly be fishing. Um, you might notice the way that they're dressed. So this group of people in the picture lived hundreds of years ago in what is now the United States. One way to learn about people who lived long ago is by studying artifacts. Artifacts are objects people have made. Artifacts can tell us a lot about a group's culture or way of life. What artifacts can you find in the picture? Humans need a few things to survive. These are humans' basic needs. They need food, clothing, and shelter. Cultures meet these basic needs in different ways. A major reason for the differences in cultures is that groups live in different environments. People fish for food only if there is water nearby. People make clothing out of animal skins only if there are animals to hunt nearby. People make wooden shelters only if there are trees nearby. Different environments contribute to cultural diversity. In our reading, we will learn about three groups of people who lived in what now is the United States. As you read, pay attention to how these groups meet basic needs of food, clothing, and shelter. We will be completing a worksheet based on these things later in this activity. We are going to go to the read and do section of our student text. To do this, I'm going to show you how it works on your side. So I'm logged in as a student. I'm going to go to Miss Funk's third graders. I'm going to click on the top where it says classwork. And I'm going to scroll down to social studies. Here's our read and do assignment April 14th. As you can see, it says watch the video, which I'm making right now. You're going to open up the Read and Do worksheet. You're going to use the diversity in the United States Read and Do to help you fill out the chart. So this is that, diversity in the United States Read and Do. I'm going to click on that so we can read through it. You're going to scroll all the way down. to the section that says read and do. It's on page 19. Read and do. Many people, many ways of life. Our land has been home to diverse cultures for thousands of years. Once, many groups of American Indians lived here. Each group had its own way of life. What were these cultures like, and how did they differ from each other? Hello, and welcome to the Time Travel Express. This is a very special train. It travels through time as well as space. Today, the train will take us into the past to meet three groups of American Indians. We will see how they lived before large numbers of new settlers came to their lands. 
Our first stop is in the year 1600 in what is now the state of New Jersey. There will, we will meet a group called the Lenapes. All aboard. The Lenapes. The time travel express is taking us along the Delaware River. Later, this area will become part of the northeast region of the United States. In 1600, it is home to the Lenape people. Let's take a look at our lesson guide. We are going to ride on a special train called the Time Travel Express. The Time Travel Express will take us back into the past. The first stop will be back in the year 1600. Begin your travels by reading the introduction in the section on the Lenapes. So we will continue doing that. We stop by a village near the river. Do you see the large houses with curved roofs? They are called long houses. Several families can share one long house. The smaller round houses are called wigwams. The Lenapes fish in the river. They get many of the other things they need in forests nearby. They use wood and bark from trees to build their houses. They also hunt deer and beavers. They use the skins from the animals to make clothes. Here's a picture of their houses. One of their houses. There are also gardens in the village for growing crops. There, the Lenape women grow food such as corn, beans, and squash. Many American Indians in this region grow these three crops. The crops are known as three sisters. So let's go back to our guide. If you notice in the picture, this must be a wigwam. You can see that they're building it. And if you look at your clothes, you are their clothes you can see that they might be made out of deer skin I want you to go back to our social studies page and I'm going to show you how to complete this read and do worksheet so it should give you edit access interesting I'm going to have to go back and make sure that you can edit this. Otherwise, you can just request edit access by sending request, and then I will let you do that. Let's just do it that way. You can request access, and I will grant you access right away so you can complete that. Um, and that way I'll know you're getting it done too. So I'm going to quickly respond to this request and make sure that we can edit on this account. This is something you will not have to do on your side. I'm just doing it really quick. So you can see I got the request. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to share it with everybody. There we go. Now you all should be able to access it. Awesome. Okay. So we'll go back to that worksheet. And I'm going to refresh. And it looks like I can access it now. So it's kind of small. You definitely can't read this. So you're going to want to click this button here that looks like a magnifying glass and it says zoom. I'm going to zoom to 100% and then you can scroll up and down. So fill in the table below. First write the place or region where each group lived. In the other boxes give at least one example, only one. You don't have to give more than one, but give at least one for each category. If you want to give more than one, I will be very happy to see that and I might even give you more points. Three of the boxes are already filled in for you. So if you look, we have the Lenapes, the Chumash, and the Comanches, or Coman Comanches. Um, 
we will fill these in as we read. I'm going to do this roll with you first. So, place or region. Where did the Lenape live? So we're going to go back and open up diversity in the United States and we're going to scroll back down to page 19. And we're going to go back to our reading right here, the Lenapes. So we're going to read, the Time Travel Express is taking us along the Delaware River. Later, this area will become part of the Northeast region of the United States. In 1600, it is home to the Lenape people. We will stop by a village near the river. A village near the river. So you can type that in. Whoops, whoops, whoops. We got to get off of our zoom button before we do that. Ah. And you're going to click on the text box so you could text or type your text in. Let's see. Okay, you just got to click on that. They lived I'm going to write by the river. If you want to be more specific, you could talk about the Delaware River. I'm going to be specific and write that. They live by the Delaware River. To make your text box a little bigger, you can move it. They lived by the Delaware River. And they lived in a village. Okay, the food that they ate was corn, beans, and squash. They filled this in for us. So if you scroll down, you remember it said the Lenape women grew food such as corn, beans, and squash. Go back to the assignment. Clothing. What type of clothing do they wear? Let's go back and read. I think that was in this paragraph, so let's take a look. The Lenapis fish in the river. They get many of the other things they need in forests nearby. They use wooden bark from the trees to build their houses. They also hunt deer and beavers. They use the skin from animals to make clothes. So let's write that in. Skin from animals like be beaver, and deer. And lastly, what kind of shelter do they have? So I'm going to go back to the reading. Let's take a look at their shelter. We stopped by a village near the river. Do you see the large houses with curved roofs? They are called longhouses. Several families can share one longhouse. The smaller round houses are called wigwams. Oh, so I just figured this out. So this is a smaller house. This is called a wigwam. And then the one here that looks very long and has lots of American Indians in it, this is a long house. So we know that the Lenapes had long houses and wigwams. I think long houses might be one word. So we're going to pull that out. Longhouses and wigwams. There they are. All right, let's go back. And now we have our first row filled out. That's awesome. So now on your own, you're going to do the Chumash and the Comanches. You're going to fill those rows in. But I will read with you for those two. Your next stop on the Time Travel Express is the year 1750. Now let's read about the Chumash in the Read and Do. Oops, okay. The Comanches. 
our last stop in the year 1775. Oh, this shouldn't be our last stop. There we go, Chumash, my bad. Next, the Time Travel Express takes us to this Pacific coast in the year 1750. One day, this place will be a part of California. The city of Santa Barbara will grow up nearby. We stop near a village that looks out on the Pacific Ocean. The village was built by the Chumash. Many Chumash live along the Pacific coast or on nearby islands. About 500 people live in this village. The village has many dome-shaped houses. The Chumash cut branches from the willow trees to make frames for their houses. When they cover the frames with mats made of reeds, then they cover the frames with mats made of from reeds, a type of plant. Look out to the sea. The men are out there in long, narrow boats called canoes. They are using long, sharp spears to hunt for seals, tuna, and whales. On land, the men hunt for deer and other animals, while the women also help gather food. They look for berries, wild plants, and acorns. The Chumash eat acorn soup or acorn cakes every day. In Chumash groups, women can become leaders. A woman is the chief of this village. The chief tries to keep everyone safe and tries to make sure that no one goes hungry. The Chumash wear little clothing because the climate in this region is so mild. Sometimes the men wear just a belt to carry tools. The women wear skirts made of deer skin or woven from plants. Now, if you look at our read and do worksheet, they filled in that section for us about clothing. They said the men wear belts and the women made, wear skirts made of deer skin. So remember, you're going to be filling in the place or region where they are from, the type of food they eat, and what type of shelter they live in. You're going to be typing these in on your own when you can finish this assignment. As we leave the village, watch for the cave nearby. Inside, colorful pictures cover the walls and ceilings. Religious leaders probably draw these pictures. It is a way of asking the gods to help the Chumash live a good life. The last stop on the time travel is going to be in the year 1775. The Comanches. Our last stop in the year 1775. We are hundreds of miles to the east of the Pacific Ocean. Grassy plains stretch as far as we can see. One day this place will be part of Texas. Right now it is home to many groups of Comanches. Over there some women are setting up teepees. Teepees are a kind of tent. They are easy to set up and take down. This is important to the Comanches because they are always moving from one place to another. Why are the Comanches always moving? They move because they must follow bison herds. The Comanches have built their way of life around the bison. Bison meat gives them food and the women make clothes and blankets from the skins. Even teepees are made from bison skins. The Comanches get other useful things from the bison too. They make tools such as sewing needles from bison bones. They use the horns to make bowls and cups. They even use the bison's stomach as a strong water bag. The men and boys hunt the bison with bows and arrows. They make most of the bows out of wood, but sometimes they make bows from bison horns. The Comanches used to hunt on foot. But then people from Europe brought horses to North America. The Comanches quickly became very skilled horseback riders. With horses, they can travel much further to hunt bison. They also ride horses in battles against their enemies. Our train is rolling again. We are returning to our starting place in our own time. I hope you have enjoyed our trip to the past. There's a picture of where the Lenapes lived. 
here's where the Chumash lived, kind of in uh, um, by the Pacific Ocean in California. Here's those pictures that they were talking about, the religious drawings. And this is where the Comanches lives, mostly in Texas, um, closer to the middle of the United States. And here's a picture of the Comanches. And you can see there's a teepee here and the horses that we read about. And here they are ch um, chasing and hunting the bison. So we are finished. Think about what you read about the three American Indian groups.